What's good, you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Butt Cheese, coming at you with the one, two, three. Shout out my boy, Trey. Live. It's been a while. Been a while. I seen a post on Facebook, right? Liked it. Thought about an idea. Now we're here. Not even going to waste no time. Let's just get into it. Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon. So basically, we're letting these shows go head to head. And I'm going to be letting y'all know which one's my favorite picks. And in the comments, hopefully y'all let me know which one's y'all favorite picks. So for the first one on that Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon, Dexter's Laboratory versus Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I mess with Dexter. I really do. But, honestly, Dexter is not touching Jimmy Neutron. Like, like, nah, nah, for all the Dexter fans, what? Look, 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 look. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Jimmy Neutron, right? Dexter got D, right? But, but, hear me out. Jimmy Neutron got the boy Sheen. Sheen. I'm a, come on now. It's Sheen. I mean, honestly, just that alone already would take out the argument of DD because I know Dex got a lot of DD fans. Now, who's smarter between the two? Hey, that got nothing to do with me. I have no idea. I it's been a while since I've seen either one of the shows. I'm just going off the top. And from the top, Jimmy. Got her. Come on. Sheen, come on. Carl too. Come on. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. If you disagree, argue me in the comments. I just want to hear an argument. I just want to see. And I will answer every comment. You know, Teen Titans versus Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> no matter what you choose, yo, you, you always get a little hatred on both sides, right? That, that one's actually a tough one. I'm not going to lie to you. I mess with Teen Titans. And I mess with uh, Avatar. Oh, um, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. Um, oh, Teen Titans versus Avatar. I'm going to say... I'm going to say Teen Titans. Right? Now, Avatar fans, please do not kill me. That is a hard one. That is a hard one. I don't care. That is a hard one. But I'm going to go with Teen Titans because the boy Cyborg, the boy Beast Boy, that girl Raven. Just look, 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 look. And I know, I know. Avatar side. That boy Avatar. I mean, Aang, what? That boy Zuko. Don't even get me started on that man Iroh. Like, like, like. I'm going to go with Teen Titans. And that's because I believe Teen Titans has more episodes than Avatar. That's the only thing. And nobody better go in that comment and bring up Legend of Korra. I, hey, Legend of Korra was not it for me. Don't, don't even do it. Don't even do it. Okay? So, I'm going with Teen Titans only because I believe it has more episodes than Avatar plus Airbender. That's it, though. Samurai Jack versus Danny Phantom. Oh, my goodness. I love me some Danny Phantom. I love Mr. Danny Phantom, but at the same time, me and that boy Jack go way back. Check me out, check me out. Oh, Samurai Jack or Danny Phantom? Fuck, that's crazy. You know, I'm gonna say Samurai Jack. Wait, wait, now are we talking Samurai Jack before season five or after? Because if it's, if we, we were adding that at season five in, oh yeah, yeah, Samurai Jack, definitely, hands down. If we're taking that out, because technically that's more along the anime side and less cartoon, you know, on Adult Swim, all the good stuff. If we're taking out season five, I'm going to have to give it to Danny Phantom then, because that, that's just how I'm feeling. If season five in, is in there, Samurai Jack, 100%. But if we're taking that out of the equation, Danny Phantom, 100%. Cow and Chicken versus Cat Dog. Definitely Cow and Chicken. Yeah, that, that one's a... Don't ask why. I just get down with the cow and chicken. Okay. Mama had a chicken. Dad had a cow. Whatever. Somebody has something. We don't know how, but we didn't care. So wow. Um, 
I, I know I just missed out that entire intro. Don't, don't, don't kill me. It's been a while. Okay, leave me alone. But cow chicken, definitely. <laughs> but no, whoa, oh, what's he? Cat dog, no, that intro, I don't know why, but that cat dog intro do slap to me. It do, I don't know. Cat dog, mm -mm, cat dog. I don't know where with a little cat dog. I mean, that, that, that hit, that hit to me, but. I'ma still, I'm still go with cow and chicken. And I know it's not about the intros, I just like intros. Like if an intro really just kinda hit, that, that's probably gonna capture how I feel about the show. I don't think, don't don't call me on this, but I don't know a show with a banging intro, but the show itself was just buns. Buns, I'ma say buns. What, what show was just like total garbage but the intro just hit. Like, let me know. I I'm curious. I'm curious. I feel like there's none, but hey, I could be totally wrong. Ed and Eddie versus Rugrats. Ed and Eddie. I've always been an Ed and Eddie fan. Um, I love Ed and Eddie to death. Uh, forward, backward. I have the series. And don't get me wrong, I have Rugrats too. Ed and Eddie. Uh, if anybody asks me, would you watch first? It's just Ed and Eddie. I mean... How? How? You got babies slobbering around and and doing shit versus Ed and Eddie trying to get that bread. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it get jawbreakers. Like, we out here running from the Canker Sisters. Y'all remember that? We, we don't want them. No, we're looking at Jazz. That girl, Jazz. That girl, Jazz. Oh, it was it Naz? Encourage the Cowardly Dog or Invaders them. Don't get me wrong, I love me some Courage and Cowardly Dog. I'm all over that. But, boy, ain't nobody is touching my man, Gur. I don't care. Gur is over everybody. Invader Zim. I don't care. It, bro, bro, Invader Zim was such a jewel because of Gur. I don't care if you're a Div fan, his sister fan, even if you mess with that man, Zim, it doesn't matter to me. It was all about Gur. Any episode that showed Gur longer than maybe like five minutes, best episode in my book. In my book, okay? My opinion. It's my video. What you tell me, I don't care. Put it in the comments so we can argue about it. Fucking dog saving Muriel every goddamn episode. And you got my man Gur out here hitting the moves, eating the waffles, watching TV. Man, Gur was a five. Powerpuff Girls versus a fairy... Uh, Powerpuff Girls versus the Fairly Odd Parents. Powerpuff Girls. Now, Fairly Odd Parents did a run a lot longer than the Powerpuff Girls, but when you start adding in Chloe and that dog, you lost me. Now, we bring you like back, you know, I dug Monster Inc. <laughs> Dumbest man in the universe. It's like, that was cold then, that was cold, that was cold. That was cold. Uh, but regardless, shout out to my man, the Rowdy Rough Boys. Like, just, just be honest. Even if, right, even if you're going uh, fairly odd parents, and that's your choice, tell me if you've seen Powerpuff Girls, you didn't mess with the men's, the Rowdy Rough Boys. Go ahead, tell me. I'll, I'll wait. Don't lie. I know you're lying, so don't, don't, don't do, don't do that. Just, just be honest. Rowdy Rub Boys. Think about it. Take your time. Maybe click on the video. Go back and visit them. When they hit the scene, tell me you didn't think it was hard. Oh, okay. I thought so. How about girls? Space Ghost versus Roscoe's Modern Life. Roscoe's Modern Life. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know what Space Ghost is. So, I don't feel like going to type it up. Um, I've never heard of a Space Ghost. I'm not gonna lie to you. That might, I, I, I don't know, call me young. That might be old. I've never heard of Space Ghost. So I'm gonna go with Roscoe's Modern Life because, hey, me and that boy Roscoe. Come on now. Foster's home for imaginary friends or Chalk Zone? Ray's got the chalk, chalk, chalk. Ray's got the chalk, 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 chalk. Nah, nah, for, for, for real, uh, Fairy, uh, Foster's home. Foster's home, bro. All the way. That man blue. That, that man will. Come on, man. El Eduardo, come on, man. Bro, bro, do you know how long I've always wanted an imaginary friend? Like, 
No, don't get me wrong. Chalk's gonna go crazy. Cause look, bro, that chalk, man, you go chalk you up some dollar bills, you know what I'm saying? Until that chalk run out. I don't, I don't think a chalk ever ran out. So, constantly just dollar bills, bro. If you could just imagine you, a friend that could do everything that you need, is money really necessary? Like, just think if you had an imaginary friend that was a house. The house was the friend, right? Like, come on now. Now, granted, argument, when well, you can just draw the house, but if you can't draw, then your house is whack. Then you just look in, like, and you just in a fucking stick house. Adventure Time or Hey Arnold? Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold. Don't get me wrong, I mess with Adventure Time. I do. Marceline, Princess Bubblegum, his bullshit, my man lost his arm. You know, like, he should have been with Princess Bubblegum. She fell in love with Marceline. That's probably what pissed me off the most, like. Yo, my man Finn. I mean, well, he had Flame Princess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Flame Princess was thick. She was dummy thick, bro. I'm... <laughs> Yo, Jake out here smashing a unicorn, snake, dragon thing, man. Look, look, look. Definitely going with the Arnold here because, hey, simpler times. Simpler times. Regular show or Angry Beavers? Regular show. Definitely regular show. Like, come on now. Come on. I can't. My man skips. Immortal. On top of that. Knows everything. Or well, just about everything. Some things. Skips, come on. Don't even get me started on my boy Riggs. Come on. Riggs. And, I, and, I'm, and I'm more of a Mordecai fan than a Rigby fan. But still. Put respect on my boy name. He was always down with the get down behind my man's Mordecai. Now, yeah. If you choose Angry Beavers or a regular show, you ain't with the get down. You ain't with the get down. You don't know what it is to have a homie have your back for real, for real. You got a bunch of fake friends. Your relationship probably fake. Your money probably fake. You out here shopping with my, uh, my, uh, Monopoly money and shit. Go ahead, do you though? Hey, you ain't here for me. Have fun with your fake life. That's all I gotta say, bro. All growing up or Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, bro. Billy and Mandy all the way. My boy Grim, easily. Hey, oh my, like, come on, come on. And my boy too, Hostile Gato. Like, my nigga, Hostile Gato is so hard. Y'all don't care. Even though he got turned into a big ass Sasquatch and, 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 and beat up by Billy's mom, if I'm not mistaken. Or was that Billy that was the Sasquatch? Billy was a Sasquatch first. Bro, I don't know. Hostile Gal goes hard. Grim goes hard. That's it. That's all you need to know. Steven Universe, Wild Thornberries. Wild Thornberries. I mean, I've never got into Steven Universe like that. You know, the uh, intro song, intro song slaps. I'm not going to lie to you. I've just never got into it. And it's not because I don't like it. I've just never took in the time. Like, by the time I really, like, thought about looking at it. Oh, shit. We had, like, these... I don't know what the hell was going on. Bitch came from space. And she was a green gym. And we had this orange wrestling suplex nigga. And she... I don't know where the fuck she came from. But I, bro, I was so lost. I was like, man. I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to let... You know, people with the lore. And I think it's over, too. So, I, I don't know. I just never felt the need, you know, to get into it. I just know old dude, belly button, uh, Steven. Old dude, Steve, uh, Steven, belly button, glue. And he got a shield out his belly button. A shield out his belly button. And then he switched. Or not switched, but fused with a girl who wasn't a gym. And they became a thing... That, that's that's too much. If you don't know what I'm talking about, like you've never seen Steven Universe at all, then you're probably gonna be more confused than I am trying to explain what I got. Let's keep it going. Ben 10 of Legend of Korra. I hate Legend of Korra. I hate it. I don't care what anybody tells me. I didn't get a chance to finish it. I'm not gonna finish it because Korra is garbage. She gets whipped on by everybody. And on top of that, season one, I'm not going to lie to you, I fucked with season one hard, and that was only because of the villain. That man was a beast. Going up to people, uh, 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 
hit that shit, you're done. Don't, you ain't fighting back. Give me your element. Fuck, I don't know, but that man was on some shit. Every time he walked through, that, he had the mask on, all that badass. I stopped when she was fucking around with spirits and getting folded by the spirits. I think she's seen her dad or some shit. That nigga weak too. Like everybody is incredibly weaker than Avatar and they have more technology and shit, metal bending and shit. And it's like, and you got the nerve to call yourself the Avatar, but put some respect, man. Uh, my bad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just went on a whole little rant talking about how much I didn't like horror. Ben 10 though, like real shit, you know, all this, all that. All that, and Vilgax, bro, me and Vilgax go way back. I love that man Vilgax. He's all, when he, when he, shh, and he hit that shit, and I did juiced up. Vilgax, bro. Diamond here. Heat Blast. XLR8. Come on, man. I, he, he was really awesome shit with that name, though. That XLR8? Come on. That, that was a clever one. And I also like that magician girl, too. I forgot her name. The one, uh, her daddy was like a dark magician. What that girl? Was? Hey. Hey, look, that girl. Hey, that girl's fine to me. I don't care. That girl's fine to me. Johnny Bravo or Rocket Power? My man, Johnny Bravo. Come on now. We get hoes. It is, it is, it is there. I really, I feel like, I feel like in the show, Johnny never got a whole girl like that entire show. I just know he just kept getting beat up on. But, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm gonna just say for her girl, my boy Johnny, you know? Number one lesson in life, kids. Stay young, get hoes. <laughs> Demonetize, right there, there you go. Amazing World of Gumball or Doug. Definitely Amazing World of Gumball. Amazing World of Gumball has me had it has had. I don't know if it's still playing. I haven't seen it in a minute. But when I did watch it, it had me rolling. Every episode. But that joke is so funny. It is so funny. If you haven't had the notion to go watch Amazing World of Gumball because oh you know what the new though. I don't like the newer cartoon network show. Take the time. Go check that out. That's the that, that's one of the newer ones I'll give a pass. That that shit was hilarious to me. It's always been hilarious. It always will be hilarious. Go check it out. Trust me. It, it, it's definitely worth it. Chowder as told by Ginger. I don't know what as told by Ginger and the name sounds whack. It might go hard. I don't know. But I'm going with that boy Chowder. Like, Schnitzel? Come on now. Who? who, who? Schnitzel's a real one. That man risks his life every day for the kitchen. He out here trying to cook it up in the kitchen. Child don't want to eat everything in the kitchen. Come on, man. And I was fat back in the day. Every time Chowder played, I go get me some food. He made me hungry. When he had them, 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 hugging apples with the little stick. Man, I went, give me some apples. When they baking cakes and shit. I went get cake if we had cake at the time. I went get cake. Try to put me on to honey buns. Don't ask how. He just did that. Now every chick is a good chick. Chowder, come on now. I'm not your boyfriend. You're not my girlfriend. Free ass is free ass, you know what I mean? But uh, not every ass is good ass. Okay, that's the point. But, you know, if you just don't want to ask right now, it ain't nothing to catch it. Hold it just a little bit. Throw it back. That's how the game is played. You know, you don't just hold the football the entire time. Give it back to the rest of the team. You know, let the boys catch it. If you don't understand what I'm insinuating, ask your mother. Total Drama Island, or My Life as a Teenage Robot. Don't get me wrong, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Me and Jenny go back, bro. Me and Jenny go back, bro. But Total Drama Island, cartoon reality show. That boy Duncan. And I forgot the host, Chris. I think his name is Chris. If it's not, it's gonna be Chris. Chris. And Chef. That boy Chef. Samuel Jackson looking well. Camp Laszlo. Ah! Real monsters. I'm going with Camp Laszlo. Don't get me wrong. Real monsters. Real cool. Camp Laszlo. 
out the box. Off the rip. That show knew what it was, it knew what it needed to do, and it fucking did it. End of story. Can't laugh, bro. Come on now. Right. Kids Next Door or SpongeBob? I know majority of y'all niggas said SpongeBob. I'm going code name Kids Next Door. Nigel Uno. I didn't even get into SpongeBob. Like, SpongeBob came out around the time I was born. 2000, right? I didn't get into SpongeBob till way like after, like 2012. Maybe 14, nah, about 2012. 2011, 2012. I'll be generous to say 010. I'll say 2010, but I don't even know when Kidding uh, uh, Next Door came out. But I know I was watching that, and when they came out with Operation Zero, when that man found out his daddy was. And that old flame dude was a part of it. Now don't get me wrong, that first SpongeBob movie, fuck that uh, with uh, with Dennis. Oh my God, yo, hey, that first movie is legendary. I can uh, we're comparing movies, right? That first movie will forever be legendary. Like, oh, we got us a double, baby. <laughs> DJ, turn it up louder. Like that, hey, hey, I'm a goofy goober. Yeah, like that shit. You're a goofy goober. Yeah, we're all. <laughs> I feel like all new kids, or all new generation kids should go watch that one and then come back to I really. You're never gonna really appreciate SpongeBob until that, you know what? Damn. All right, scratch my answer. That movie alone, that movie alone, isolated SpongeBob for me. It, that's really where I got into SpongeBob was from that movie. I changed my answer. Gotta be SpongeBob. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I, I love going and getting ignored. I really do. I'm more of an action-heavy kind of person, but that, bro, that shit, hey. Anyways, that was the whole debate. Cartoon Network versus Nickelodeon. I think I picked a lot more Cartoon Network shows than Nickelodeon. That's just me. But let me know what y'all picked in the comments. This video is getting extremely too long. And it should have been a whole lot shorter. I apologize. But look, it's been a while. It's been a minute. You know? We gotta catch up. Matter of fact, how are you? Oh. That, 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 that's good. That's good. I hope that you're not talking to the phone and you're putting it in the comments. Because that would make a whole lot more sense, right? Right? We're all 2021 we're growing and developing better brains, better people, with better pizza. Papa job. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later with the one, two, three. Yeah.